What's up guys, the KNH Films here, and today I'm going to bring you another legendary weapon. It is called the Excalibastard, and basically what it is is, so in Borderlands the pre-sequel, there are these new beam guns. And, I don't know, do I have one that I could show you? Yes, I do. I will use... Alright, I'll get out the three different types. Basically, there's three types of beam guns. Well, the main beam guns. Well, f yeah, four actually. But, um, the main three is the railgun, the beam, and then the shotgun beam. Basically, what these do is, so like, this is a regular beam. It shoots a big, ugly beam. Then, the next one is the shotgun, which is like this. And then the last one is a railgun, which is like a sniper beam. These normally do a lot of damage, but they only fire one bullet. Like that. Like I said, this one's a burst. But like the Excalibastard, it is a railgun. It's like a sniper. And it does the new damage called cryo-freeze. Which is, they replace slag with cryo-freeze. Since slag hasn't been discovered yet, because Jack is good until the end of the thing. Where he turns evil and, you know, gets the ugly scar on his face. But, um... Oh, where'd he go? Uh, oh, up there. So anyway, to get this gun, you are going to have a bad. A you're going to have to have a badass rank of two thousand five hundred. Now, right now, I think I have four thousand something. Oh, all right, four thousand four hundred ninety. Okay, so that's my badass rank. Now, I've played this game a lot. It does take some time to get your badass rank up, but once you get it 2,500, you can get the Excalibaster, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute after I kill this stupid idiot. There we go. Alright. So to get the Excalibaster, you're going you're to want to come to Stanton's Liver, which is basically um, on Triton Flats. I'll just show you. You get to it through Triton Flats, but you cannot teleport to it. You can't, um, like, it doesn't show up on your fast travel, just like Re Regolith Range. It will not show up on your thing. And so, in Triton Flats, I'll show you exactly where it is and where you need to go. And you ha the only way to get up to Stand and Deliver is through a jump pad. And you should know what a jump pad is by now. So here is Stanton's Liver. Basically, here is where you spawn. And then over here is where Stanton's liver. There's a jump pad somewhere over here that jumps you all the way up over to here. And you travel into Stanton's liver. Now once you're here, the Excalibaster isn't just in the middle of, you know, nowhere. It's actually, you know, in a place where you normally wouldn't go. But if you're like me and you went exploring, because I found it, and it's, a l I was really upset when I first found it because I thought I would never be able to get it because I thought it was one of those things where know your guy just happen your guy just happens to have some sort of I don't know code that lets you get it but basically if you know the original story of the Excalibur the sword it's in a stone and you have to pull it out but you have to be like you know special or something and so this one it's on a bayonet and it's in a stone and it says art thou badass enough Weapon of Legend, Excalibastard. So, how to get it? Like I said, 2,500, You have that's what you have to have for your, your badass rank. And then you can pull it. And it comes out like that. And so, as you can see, so, like, I'll compare it to my railgun, which is right here. 609, 601, 100% accuracy. So, it's, you know, it's not really great, but it's pretty great if that makes any sense. So, yeah, that's how you get the Excalibastard. I'll do some gameplay, and I'll do an inspection segment once I get to this air pocket over here so I don't die, because that would be bad. Uh-oh, I might die. Oh, I'm dead. Wow, nice. All right, I'll just wait to respawn. I got no air to boost myself over. All right, so anyway, I guess we're just doing an inspection right here. So here we go. 
So there it is, the Excalibur. And like I said, it's got that cryo freeze. It's got a bayonet on it, which does, you know. I mean, uh, this is what makes it good. It's got 110 critical hit damage, and plus 50 melee damage. Now, it also has 100% accuracy. Now, the damage may not be the best, but the fire rate is, you know, like a regular road gun. The reload speed is pretty good. But this gun, you can pull it out at any level, but you can only pull it out once. It doesn't respawn, so be careful. And another thing that's cool is once you get your badass rank to 2,500, it transfers to all your characters. It's not just on the character that you got it on. Which is really nice because I would be really mad if that wasn't the case. But, so we're just going to test this thing out. So as you can see, it's pretty powerful right now, but obviously I'm only in a level 11 zone. But it does freeze. As you can see, that 765 was doing freeze damage. And it does kind of work like a sniper, but I believe... It does get really hard to hit people from um, really far away because the scope has that circle and not an actual point. So that's kind of a bummer, and it you can't get it. it there's only one prefix of the Excalibur with one scope, one stock, n always a bayonet because that's how it sticks into the stone. But like, if I go up, come here. Can't even get catch up to him. Come here. There we go. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, uh, look forward to more videos. I re I've really enjoyed this game, and I hope that Gearbox comes out with uh, some really cool DLC to go with this. Um, go check out my uh, other Borderlands pre sequel tutorial on how to get the pumpkin gun quick because they're going to be taking it down soon. It's not going to be there forever. So be sure to go check that out. Subscribe. Go check out my bro's channel. It will be in the description. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See ya.